Hey everyone, it's Bobo the Vulture, and it is time for more Let's Play Tecmo Super Bowl. And, uh, as you recall from uh, last time, uh, we had a, uh, had a go at the Broncos in week 15 of season 2, the 1992 season of the three-season mode of Tecmo Super Bowl. I'm going through such painstaking detail, I don't know either. Either way, let's go ahead and uh, get moving here. Get the game started. JLWTDW12 has been watching Up Up Down Down's Madden Tournament. Now I know what you sh Up Up Down Down is. It is the uh, sort of gaming channel run by Xavier Woods of uh, WWE fame. Let's look at our team data here. You're asking what our record is? Uh, I believe we are 13 and 1. Yes, we are 13 and 1. Uh, we uh, lost one game, uh, I want to say it was about three, four weeks ago, uh, to the Atlanta Falcons and their red gun offense. But, uh, or was the red gun? Yeah. But um, this was. Uh, mm. It's interesting because this is one of those games where it's just like the AI will eventually decide that uh, it's tired of you winning and will uh, just make everybody sort of like overpowered. In this case, it did that with the Atlanta Falcons, who were not necessarily one of the powerhouses of the league at this point in history. But there we were. Al Edwards, no, oh, Al Edwards is in okay shape again. Then who do I have as starters? Okay, Andre Reed got injured, that's right. Alright. Anyways, let's go ahead and, uh, but yeah, when you said Up Up Down Down's Madden Tournament, I thought for a minute you were talking about, uh, you were talking about Up Down, which is a, uh, which is an arcade bar. Actually, there are two locations, I believe, one in Kansas City and one in Minneapolis. And I've been to the Minneapolis Up Down, and it is fun. It's a good place to be. But, uh, well, at least, you know, when it's not getting too crowded. Let's go ahead and start a game here. Hey, baby girl. This is the uh, 16th season. For the 16th week of the regular season, we are going to be facing off against the New Orleans Saints. Let's get the coin toss going here. And more than likely, they will ask to return anyway, which is just fine by me. I like kicking off. It's not raining! Let's get some pinpoint accuracy off of the Steve Christie kickoff. Get that right on the, yeah, there you go, like the one or two. And they managed to still get a really good return out of that. Well, I didn't want that to happen. But uh, sometimes you cannot... Uh, you can't prevent these things. Wah! What? I got the special diving animation and I still apparently... Uh, I've never, I can't remember that. I didn't think diving tackles could not work if you hit the guy. So that was uh, a little strange. Third and two. They really ought to just try and cram it up the middle here. I'm not sure if that's what they're going to try and do. It is not. That's all right. We still managed to uh, stop them. Without that much help from me, I have to admit. And back to Al Edwards for the return attempt. Or, you know, just a touchback, because they managed to kick it a very, very long way. Which, hey, that's cool. More power to them. All 
All right. Nobody was at Robbie Brooks, but uh, he did not avail himself of that situation anyways. That's too bad. In this case, everyone is covered. So we got a one yard gain out of that. That wasn't great. Let's see whether or not we can get Thurman Thomas to uh, save this series of downs for us. Doesn't look like it. Well, I guess we're going to be punting. How far back can we get this? To the 10. Not bad. And get them back to the 20. So basically, it's as though the first two sets of down, or the first two possessions never happened. There we go. Once they break away like that, I'm just relieved when we can catch them. That's what it comes down to. I know it, it sounds like, there we go, for a situation like that does not seem like a... Nicely done, Bruce Smith. Third and 22, I think you guys are going to need to air it out. Now, that would make logical sense in this situation, but of course, it's not how the game works. Go ahead and call for the touchback there, because I'm immediately mobbed. Even if I had been able to grab it, which I'm not sure I could. Well, nuts. Try that again. Once more with feeling slash not being terrible. BB! Our savior. Now let's see if Thurman Thomas can do anything with the ball, or if he is pretty much going to be doomed to... Nope. He can get us first down. I'll take that. I say it seems safer to have Thurman Thomas uh, just sort of run things out, but uh, of course, that's that's not true. Um, he can fumble the ball just as easily as we can get an interception. Both things, it's super easy to have happen. Right. Brooks. Go Brooks. Jim Kelly. Celebration. Da -da 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 -da. And an ugly kick in, but it still works. I'm willing to accept an ugly kick in in these circumstances. Ah. Actually, I recoil at uh, the them taking the touchback, but at the same time, the last time we tried to uh, get them to uh, return the ball. I uh, didn't keep them to the 20. They got to the 30, so maybe this is just as well. 
Blue 43. Getting in there is Cornelius Bennett. Forcing another punt. Oh, I uh, really messed that up. Although, geez, again, the AI manages to uh, do something decent with that. Seven yard return, not great. just run out there before anything bad happens. And again, it's nice to, uh, when we're in the last minute, considering how quickly seconds run, it is nice to uh, just run out and stop the clock wherever we can. Hooray, we made a one yard gain. Round 52, round 52. Let's call play quickly. No huddle offense styles. And, uh, no. It's 11 seconds left. I'm going to go ahead and risk it. 11 seconds left in the half. So let's go ahead and see whether or not we just send everybody out. Somebody can come up with the ball. No. What we can do is, once again, wreck my quarterback rating. Got the uh, singer hugging herself, so that's always nice to have. All right, Bill 7, Saints nothing. That's what we got going. Very even on run yards. Uh, we are dominating the passing game, even though I do have an interception, which is bad. But it happened at the best possible time when they could take no advantage from it. Because guess what? Now they gotta give me the ball anyway. Suckers. Mr. Anderson. Well, I wanted to do more than that. Ready, set, put, put, put. Yeah, that's true, JLW. You may be the only person in the stream right now, but, uh,. Let's uh let's let's continue on regardless because we've got a good thing going here. It's not exactly a dominating performance uh, for the uh, Buffalo Bills, but we're doing well enough. One yard, I'm going to chance it anyway. Blue 43. Hut, hut. First down. Do I mind playing a wrestling game tonight? I do not have a wrestling game to be playing right now, unfortunately. Blue 
If I were going to play a wrestling game right now, it would probably be to try and get back on track with my Extreme Warfare Revenge LP. Which, uh, I don't livestream. Uh, I just, I just do that one offline. Uh, so, sorry about that, but, uh, I will probably, I will play this game, uh, I will play this game of Tecmo Super Bowl, possibly another. Um, but, uh, that's probably all I'm gonna end up doing tonight. There's not too much left to the evening, after all. You know, no, I don't like being, uh, don't like being in this disadvantageous position of only being down by one score. I'm going to go ahead and risk it. Foolhardy as it is. And it was foolhardy. Honestly, I may be able to make more yardage on defense. Ouch. That hurt my player. Getting knocked way the heck back like that. They do have kind of comical knockback in this game, which is, you know, whatever. Woo! When is JG's run? Here comes the pain coming. Um, if it does come, it will not be for a little while. We have a couple of other projects that uh, we have lined up between now and then, so that will not be uh, that will not be the next immediate thing. Well, that ate up a lot of clock, didn't it? Gigantic clock eater. And they go ahead and just make the clock tick down extra fast. Alright. It's fine though, guys. We've We've got it worked out. Yeah, that was nice. Let's try it again. Oh, it was a four-yard loss that time. Well, that is not what I was hoping to have happen. Fine. Fine, I will kick a field goal, much as I hate to. Oh shoot, that's super wide. I was waiting for the right bounce. I was waiting for it to come on and bounce. Didn't happen. Oh. Guys, come on. First down. Comical keystone coppery there. That uh, I admittedly facilitated. But uh, the rest of you, you could have helped out. Oh, 
There we go. They're calling a timeout because it is the fourth quarter and uh, they are running out of time to be able to uh, take care of business. This is, however, only the second down. They confuse me for a minute, thinking like, what, I've run them down? But no, I have not. <coughs> They're trying to slow down the game. So they will have an opportunity to score here. And they're going to risk it on fourth because they need seven. They cannot just be satisfied with a field goal here because they're going to get it. Oh no. Wow. That was all. They they could have had that. I, I permitted them to have that play. I, I, should, I shouldn't have. That was all very disjointed words and phrasing, but basically what I mean to say is uh, that was wide open for them. I did not stop them from scoring there. Jeez. It's very difficult to look downfield and uh, monitor what's going on directly in front of your QB. can't afford a, uh, I, I, I can't afford a bad, I can't afford a fumble or an interception here. Outrun him, Thurman. Nice. Oh no, time is running down. Ah, see, I'll let the, uh, I'll let the, the, the play clock go down there as much as possible before I set up the punt. And provided they can't score a touchdown on this play. Oh, that is good positioning. Whew! So a very defensive game. Not a lot of, uh... Not a lot of good yardage out of there, out of either team. And you can see poor, poor pass completion percentages. Both teams ended up getting a pick. Just not great. But with that, the San Francisco 49ers have locked up their position in the NFC West. I guess uh, through through losing to me, the um, the Saints ended up uh, being eliminated from that potential. Let's see, the NFC West. Yeah, okay, so that's exactly what happened. The New Orleans Saints were number two in the NFC West. Uh, getting another loss chalked up uh, means that they no longer can catch up to the Saints or to the uh, 49ers. The 49ers have locked that up, although they have not been the like dominating force in the NFC this year the way that um, the Cowboys have. Meanwhile, we also pretty well, yeah, we, we also have the AFC East sewn up. So there's still some question as to the... Uh, really? Wow. The AFC West is doing pretty well right now. You've got, uh, yeah, anyways. Well, you've got a couple of teams doing really well in the NFC West, or the AFC West. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, finish out this, uh, this schedule for the week so we can take a look at our NFL leaders because that is something that, of course, we always, always do, just like we always bet on black. Well, 
let's go ahead and look at the uh, NFL leaders. Who are the NFL leaders in sack? Huh, this Childress fellow from uh, the Oilers has uh, moved up in, uh, up in my terrain. Although we still have three three defensive linemen from the Buffalo Bills on the top of the NFL leaders in sack list. Keith Willis, Raina Downhard, Bruce Smith, and Cornelius Bennett. Who's the best kickoff returner? Not us, we don't really do that great there. Punt returners again. Mark Kelso, still number one in interceptions. Just because I guess nobody is... None of the guys that are, like, very high up in that list have gotten any recently, because Kelso, it's been a while since we got one. The NFL's leading scorers, Thurman Thomas, easily atop this list. And more, the number one average, number one punter, average of 67.7 yards. Not the, uh, guy who's done the most punts, but, um, you know, when he gets the ball, he has to kick it. He knows what he's doing. Thurman Thomas has dropped to number three on the list of NFL's leading rushers, just because, uh, yeah, and his, his average is going down, because we're ending up uh, having uh, some shorter gains recently, although still, 30 touchdowns. And he is, he does have more attempts than anyone else in the league, so. In yards per attempt, he's actually not that great. He is 37th in the league in yards per attempt. Number one receivers. This is in number of receptions. How about in number of yards? Don Beebe is up there, still not in number one. And right, yards per reception. That will remain Don Beebe's key stat. And once again, we now find that Jim Kelly has dropped to eighth on the NFL leading passers list behind. All of these guys, Troy Aikman, Steve Young, Warren Moon, the quarterbacks of the Vikings and the Chiefs who are not even named because I guess they weren't part of the Players Association or they had some other arrangement. Regardless. Whoops, didn't mean to set that. Well, it's the Redskins and the Raiders. You will see that uh, that is taking place. This will be the last game of the regular season, folks. So let us auto skip to the end of the regular season. We will be taking on the Oilers. We come back next time. But until then, this is Bobo the Vulture, and this has been Let's Play Tecmo Super Bowl. I want to thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see all of you next time. Bye for now.